United Healthcare was shutting in broad daylight, it's believed that suspect is Shout still on the loose and just moments ago, a news conference was held. Now, a lot of people have had very mixed opinions on how they would react to this situation. Look, reason I'm not gonna lie. Because United Healthcare CEO wasn't a oh, let, good person. See, United Healthcare is the biggest healthcare company in America. United Healthcare is crazy. Because of that. But, okay, I want to start this off by saying, like, I don't wish death upon people. I don't wish failure upon people. I even told Kendrick this a, a couple days ago. Do I think the nigga deserved it? No. I don't think anyone deserves to be killed. But karma's a real thing. Did he get what was coming? Maybe. Karma's a real thing, bro. They also have the highest denial rates in America. And the next highest denial rate is actually right here. I forgot what it was. And if you don't know what a denial rate is, it's basically when you call your healthcare company asking for money because you can't pay for the high, very, very, very expensive mm -hmm. medical costs that these hospitals give you. So instead of letting your pockets run dry because you got to pay for these medical bills, you hit up your insurance company, which are supposed to cover those type of bills because that's the whole point of having an insurance company. Yep. And they just hit you back with that. Eh, but he's a little bit tight. That price is a little bit too high and I just can't do that for you. In all reality, they're lying to you because they have this much money of generated income. Damn! 281 billion in a year? Oh my gosh. Come. 370 something, whatever. I don't know the last digit. Yet they can't pay for your $70,000 life changing surgery. Yeah, that's messed up. It is also why you see the comment section covering this issue looking like this. I'm not finna lie. Let's go ahead and read some of them off. I submitted a claim. I submitted a claim for my condolences, but it got denied. <laughs> for my condolences but it got denied so sad thoughts and prayers are out of that work sorry was the cpr oh covered i don't think it was so which family member gets stuck with the pill you kind of see the direction that the best oh, is this going is nuts. to don't feel bad it's because his company that he's running has screwed over so many americans who are going through heartbreaking things and just need that's somebody something that, to be fact. able to have their back in a moment of need and all they get is a sorry your insurance doesn't cover that bill completely you like i need y'all to understand how crazy that is to be paying a monthly bill for insurance there's some people who who get it through their job which it still comes out of your paycheck so technically you are still paying for it but there are also other people who pay for the premium outside of their job. So you got to think about this. You're paying all this money every month, every month for years on years on years. And then when you finally need it, they're like, <laughs> sorry. That's like Best buying the extended up. warranty on your car. And then you go there to get to get it. Um, to get it fucking fixed with your extended warranty, what it's supposed to cover. And they're like, Sorry, the extended warranty doesn't cover that. So why the fuck did I pay for the extended warranty? It's the same shit. It's the same time. But instead of it being your car, it's your life, your body, bro. We still had to think about the CEO's family. I mean, prayers up to his wife and kids, his family, and to anybody he knows. Or That's what I'm saying. Death friends, affects people, bro. It's not just a please person. Please, may God rest his soul. That being said, though, just keep it real. When you do bad things to people, bad things will happen. What did I just say at the beginning of the video? Karma exists. Did he get what was coming? Probably. I don't think he deserved to die, but this is just the universe, bro. To it's you. He's been screwing over people for years. He's probably inherently responsible for a lot of deaths because he doesn't want to change his company's policies to help more struggling in need families at a time of despair. So the best of both. I don't know, bro. A company with two hundred eighty billion dollars can't spare also, a few thousands. And I cannot show you all that nuts. here. I will get demonetized, but I got a Fortnite reenactment that is kind of strangely, weirdly accurate. Fortnite even down reenactment. To Angle, so you can just watch that real quick. Talking to the conference hotel. No the suspect approached from behind and fired several rounds. Apparently, the and waited for about five minutes for Thompson to arrive. At oh my God! No way they did this. No. The Hilton Hotel nah, on West bruh. 54th Street and 6th Avenue. Thompson was on his way Is to speak at the United Healthcare Group Investor Conference. Here's the part of the video where we start asking questions. See, you're probably wondering, <laughs> yo, why is this topic so popular? The reason why this whole situation is a little bit more popular than others is because of the 
player to see the name of the man who killed the ceo luigi man guy I, I don't know how to pronounce his last name but this guy luigi is also a ivy league grad he was also his high school's valedictorian or college or something smart like ass nigga six years of age and oh yeah he's also very attractive objectively attractive i'm a straight man i'm just keeping it real i don't know you feel me what it feels like anywhere yeah i wouldn't say nothing week, whether it's twitter instagram youtube bro he almost got away with that shit i'm not gonna lie bro i feel bad for the mcdonald's employee because look the mcdonald's employee who snitched out Mar uh, luigi bro didn't get a dime for the reward because she didn't call the tip line she called the cops instead that is crazy well I okay inherently i know a lot of niggas are not gonna feel bad for her because it's like wow you snitched out somebody who did hero activity I don't fuck with snitches, but I do feel bad that she did it because she needed the money and they didn't pay her a dime. I think that part in itself is this just, oh my God, that's, that's sad. But, hey, this white old snitch, bro. This, this, this white old snitch, bro. <laughs> TikTok. All you're hearing about is this whole situation. <laughs> and a big reason for that is because this guy has a whole fan club now. I mean, post after post after post after post. It feels like everybody I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I wouldn't snitch. Bad. It kind of fangirly. Say what you want, bro. I wouldn't snitch a, personally. Like, if I saw that nigga coming to my place of work, I'd be like, oh shit, that's, person, that's the nigga who killed the CEO. A good person for killing him. But I'm assuming because of who he killed. But it also because he's also attractive. This is causing people to just fall in love with this guy. I mean, just look at some of these tweets, bro. This is crazy. You're probably wondering now, how did this? If he got a, a lawyer named Mario, it'd be crazy. The found him is very unique because he did a very good job of covering his tracks. I'm gonna let my boy Zevi explain how it happened. Hey, bro, you want another? Shout out Zevi. CEO getting in broad daylight. Like, I'll so be watching this nigga all the time. How did they get this picture? Well, that's because bro had a problem. It was because of a girl. But to understand what I mean, first you gotta know how. But bro that's because did. this now, creator I don't call had him a problem. Video, so I'm gonna call him Run Him Down Jake because he kind of looks like Jake Jones. Anyway, Run Him Sorry. Down Jake hops on a Greyhound from Atlanta to New York. Why is he going to New York? Because he knows the health insurance CEO has an annual, that means it happens every year, conference. So Run Him Down Jake says, Bet I know where he finna be. He Run gets to Jake. New York and he goes into a hostel, which is kind of like a little hotel thing. Stays at the hostel, he chilling. Somebody said, I'm legit broken. I would not turn him in. Having to explain annually is insane. That is kind of true. Next there really be some dumb niggas on the internet. And here's where things start to get wicked. She's an employee. I guess she kind of bad. So he said, oh, I think I say, yo, what's your name, mama? She said, my name not in the report. So for the sake of the TikTok, you can call me employee one. He said, okay, okay, employee one, what's good? <laughs> she said, take off your mask. He said, what, this mask? Now, you know you handsome if you cannot wait to show off your, he said, <laughs> she probably said, oh. He said, yeah, hold that thought. I gotta take care of something real quick. That's how he got caught because of a girl. He really could have got away with this whole- That nigga really did get caught because of a girl, bro. Because if you think about the, the, current, the, the state of events, they have nothing on him but that picture of his face. And then he goes to a McDonald's, somebody recognizes his face and calls in. If he never showed his face, never would have gotten caught, bro. Not gonna lie, even the police was like, damn, we're having a tough time finding this guy. Even knowing what his face looks like. This nigga got caught because he went inside of a McDonald's. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro made two dumb decisions that got him locked up. Showing his face to try and riz up a girl and going to a McDonald's. Well, thing if he just decided to keep his mask up. But, yep. you know, he seems to find you feel me? He had to go ahead and raise up. No, as Debbie did mention, this guy laid out everything. He knew the CEO would be in New York. He knew he would be at that hotel. Another thing I want to mention, I'm sorry I keep pausing it. I don't know why people are scared of Luigi. People are saying, oh, we should be scared. He's going to be a mass murderer. He had one target and he hit the target. I personally am not scared because I know that nigga had one target. He hit it. He's not killing nobody else. He actually waited outside his hotel to catch a lackey. But I will night, say, Luigi I got arrested I at a McDonald's in Pennsylvania. Or I will yeah, say, I, I do fear for more CEOs out there. He's not been there. detained, and there's multiple videos of him actually being taken to court before he's put in jail. Did somebody put the Luigi screen? 
you already know how these type of things go. People have already found his Twitter. He went from 300 followers to like 150,000 before his Damn. account got deleted by Twitter. And it kind of feels like the whole internet is kind of just riding for Luigi, man. I mean, if you wanted to know how he actually got caught, Mario and Luigi Apparently versus New York. Or somebody at that McDonald's recognized Luigi's face. They reported it to the authorities. They came there or maybe they went to his house and arrested him, something like that. But let's talk a little bit more about Luigi. So as time goes on, we're getting more and more information about who Luigi is as a person. As people are trying to figure out why he did this. And all honesty, it's kind of easy to suspect that Luigi had some problems with healthcare in his life, which is why he committed this crime. Apparently, he had massive back problems to the point where he couldn't have sex, do simple things in life, and you know, the healthcare was trying to pay for his expenses to help him get that procedure fixed. Also, it's been reported that his grandmother and grandfather both Ooh. died because they weren't given the money by United in time for their procedures and operations. And people oh, are also suspecting it could be deeper because in the bullets that he the CEO with oh, it had words stuff on it. To each bullet. We now know the meaning behind oh, the shit. words on the shell casings left at the scene of the deadly shooting of the United Thoughts and prayers wishing him a speedy escape. Healthcare CEO <laughs> denied, our game. defend, and depose were engraved on the bullets. And it's been reported that these words are a reference to a book that criticizes insurance companies in the US. Mm. Mm. All of the information I can find for y'all. If I miss anything, just let me know in the comments. This is the group project, you and me included. From my perspective, right? I don't like seeing death, especially in this type of me I feel like assassinating people is wrong no matter what. But at the same time, this world is a world of balance. If you put out negative energy into you're gonna get world, it back you're going to get it back mm -hmm. it makes sense bro mm -hmm. like it just makes sense like bro i'm laughing a lot a lot of these people who are commenting things like this probably have been screwed over by your company he was not a good person i feel like we can all kind of learn from the situation a little bit i don't want to make too many jokes about this whole situation because it's kind of serious but y'all money isn't everything i always say this bro you get what you get you get what you put out into the universe a lot of people don't believe that because they're very short-sighted or uh narrow uh short-minded but it can be years from now days weeks years months from whenever you put that good out into the universe you will get it back same thing with success and that's why i always tell people don't give up bro because it's like the amount of stuff that the amount of work you're putting out into the universe at some point is going to pay off but people are very short-minded they don't want to they don't want they, they have that like instant gratification thing where they don't want to wait for shit to happen. It always comes full circle, bro. Same thing with bad karma, bro. You put out negative shit into the world. At some point, that shit is going to come back, bro. I'm sorry. Bro, it's true. Yeah, money is nice to have. Yeah, a mansion would be amazing to have. Nice cars would be nice to have. But if you're getting that money off the backs of other people's struggle or that's debt, crazy. In this case, that's just bad. You yeah. can support the cause, but let's not support the actions. He still knows somebody who has a family. But besides that, what do y'all think about the yeah. situation? Are y'all on Luigi's side of things, or do y'all feel like this whole situation is just kind of messed up? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't think anybody deserves death, but I, I it just happens, bro. 